sunny spot. It's a beautiful morning, so I just wanted to share a little story with you. When I was a little girl, my mom would can peaches and pears every year. Now, I loved the pears. They were my absolute favorite. We'd eat them throughout the year. Open up a can of home canned pears, the best I'd ever had. And I didn't realize how good it was until one year we ran out and then my mom went and bought canned pears and I was like, ew, these are not any good. So she would can both pears and peaches and peaches I didn't care for so much. But I loved the pears, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> I was a little girl. You eat what you're served, right? And so my mom would serve peaches. Now, when she'd serve the canned peaches, she'd can them. She'd can them in halves. She didn't slice them all up. She'd can them a half of a peach. So she'd peel them and cut them in half and scrape the red stuff out and then can the peaches. <laughs> I know this story is going all on its own here. And so she would serve the peach half in a bowl with the sauce and then a dollop of cottage cheese in the middle. And that was the only way I really liked the peaches was with the cottage cheese added. And you know, I grew up, I moved away from home, I didn't can my own peaches. But one day, and I stopped eating cottage cheese. So about a year ago, I decided I wanted to have cottage cheese. It was part of a recipe. And then I said, you know what? I do like cottage cheese. So we'll fast forward. One morning I made oatmeal for breakfast and I added, I had fresh peaches so I sliced them up and added it to the oatmeal. And for a little extra protein I added a dollop of cottage cheese. And oh my, the memories flash back in my head growing up eating home canned peaches with cottage cheese. I just love that. This week, uh, peaches were on sale at the store, so I bought peaches and I waited for them to ripen. So for breakfast today, I had, I have a little bit left, I took some cottage cheese and I cut up peaches and added it. Oh, it's so good. Okay, I'm going to stop my story here because I have a little bit left to eat and I'm hungry and then I'm going to go walk around the walking trail here at this park. Oh, and one more reason why I'm just having cottage cheese and peaches for breakfast today. Two days ago, I walked into a glass pane. I thought I was walking into a door, so it was crazy. Anyway, here's a clip about that. I walked into the door. Only it wasn't a door and it wasn't open. It was a glass wall. My teeth hurt. So, you see I walked into that door and my mouth is still sore. My teeth are sore. So when I bite down, it hurts. So, soft food. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> All right, I'm headed off for my walk. Well, first I'm gonna finish my food. Now, because I stopped to smell the roses, I mean, eat my breakfast. Oh, hold on a second. Okay, because my teeth still hurt, I've been wearing, I have this night guard, night splint, I don't know what you call it, that I sleep in because I grind my teeth at night. So I've been putting that in during the day because it just feels better. Anyway, since I stopped to eat my breakfast, I don't have time to walk the whole trail, so I thought I'd take another path. Look at, aren't they beautiful steps there? Look at that, so rustic looking. Anyway, I'm going to take a different trail today. There are huge, huge trees at this park. Look at how big that tree is. See that? Whoa! guess you can't really tell how big it is. Just huge, huge trees. <laughs> like, wow. Okay, I'll come closer. Then you get an idea. Look at, it's a huge tree. Huh. 
I love the big old trees. I don't know why. I just do. No, I'm just rambling. You guys are probably tired of that. I'm putting my guard back in. Oh, that hurt just to put it in. This is the trail I'm going to walk down. So I didn't update you on the hammer. Did you find your hammer? Yes. God help me find it. Oh yeah? Oh. Yeah. Going to tell us? It was in the dirt. Yeah. Thought you were going to use your finder. I can't think of what it's called. Metal detector? Metal detector, yes. No, that wasn't, uh, the battery seemed low. Right. I don't know. So I dug the whole thing out with a backhoe and then there it was. Oh. Okay, I am completely, I am completely blinded by this light. Oh, I can't see anything else in the woods. Well, I'm not going back with Erica to lock the geese up because I can't see anything. I can't even see the ground. Everything is black out here except for the light. Everything is so dark. Well, I can see the house now because I turned around. I can hear the dog. So what happened was... <laughs> I better be careful. I can't walk. I'll step on something. What happened was, I'm feeling my way along. Erica takes the dogs with her to go lock the geese up at night. So she opened the door and said, come on, Piper. Piper ran outside. She turned around and ran right back in the house. And Erica's like, well, that's really strange. And she thought, and yeah, well, you know, come on, Piper. I encouraged her to come out again. And she got her to come out, and then Samson was out, and that's when she noticed the snake. Oh, look at that. Oh, they got, oh it's got a feather on it. <laughs> she ran back inside because she saw it. And I that's was like, why she didn't want to go out. And she's like, there's a snake out here. <laughs> Piper was over right of the snake. She went running back in the house. Now the dogs are here by the house. Oh, here comes Erica through the woods. See that light back there? Anyway. That was, almost ran into a pot. You can kind of see because the light, I'm so close to the house now. Uh, yep, that was our excitement for tonight. A snake. Whoa, this light really blinds me. Is the snake still out here? Piper thinks so. Oh she yeah, just it's still there. It's still oh, yeah, there. You look, look at how she's still.